Bam. Kagurabachi, I like it. chapter 51. Bam! Kagurabachi. So, for this a little weekly installment, if you guys haven't heard, Jujutsu Kaisen is over. Which Ooh, means done. that we have some room on the roster. Uh, Kagurabachi can't be a little lonesome. Look at Chihiro. He's going to be so sad if nobody wants to hang out with him at the lunch table. Oh, man. I'm just by myself <laughs> with my cool magic sword. Everybody yeah, he's fun. not invited to the big one-piece table. Yeah. <laughs> not yet. So it's, just him, it's just him and the senior who he doesn't really know. So we need to get some other, some other newbies on the table. So we're going to get two and... more newbies on the table. We picked three series for this one. Uh, we They've have all started like right back to back to back. Like that yes. does, I don't think yeah. that happens too often, but we've had so many, Cause so they're, many series is ending. Because they watched our video. They're like, fuck, those guys are right. We got to get a bunch <laughs> of green light everything. Go, 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 go. Call in all the backups. <laughs> uh, so today we're going over the weekly of Kagurabachi. So we're going to do that first. Uh, and then after that, we're going to see who joins the ranks for the new Read or Not Weeklies discussion with Shinobi Undercover. Hakutaku. Uh, oh, yes. What is it? Three? Uh, chapter three. So we read all the yep. current ones. So like whatever's yeah, out yeah. as of this recording, we've we've read up to. Uh, Hakutaku up to chapter two and Ichi the Witch up to chapter four. So out of each of those, we made a little game out of it because we didn't want to read too many things too early. So we each only get two Reedy votes out of this. So after we get this Kagurabachi chapter, we're going to go into the other three and then we get to pick. Only two of these three to give a Reedy. And then we got to give one of them a knot. You can give more of them a knot if you would like. And yeah, then yep. the highest voted one obviously comes in. And then the least voted one gets the axe. And then we'll see what happens the with the middle one. We'll see. We'll yeah, see what happens with the middle one. If yeah. there's, if... We'll, see, we'll see if it lives. At any point, we could give it two out of, or, you know, like three out of four knots. Yeah. I'm and, just like, uh, I don't then know. it's just probably getting bounced if we're all feeling it. But we'll see. Maybe, just we'll maybe, see. there could be two friends for good old Chihiro. But first, we'll start with Kagurabachi, which Bam. is still, I think, All going reliable. as strong as ever. Yeah, yeah. every time. I, however, I think you'll be proud of me because I read this first out of nice. our assignments. I was like, okay, I'm dreading the JJK yeah. ending. I'm going to save that for the very <laughs> end. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna read Kagurabachi first because I know it's going to be good. I know I'm going to yeah. have a good time. And Man, uh, I was reading JJK when we were out at your birthday thing. I'm just, oh, is that why you were miserable? I thought it was just me and my birthday. Well, it was those things coinciding. That oh, help. true. Yeah. <laughs> nah, the, this chapter, though, boy, was I right. Holy fuck. I think this is the strongest in a minute. I loved this one. This was a good one. For oh, sure. yeah. Like, we've all agreed that Samurai has been a very fun character that was introduced last chapter and he, he keeps getting better it seems yeah like, i really i really enjoy his character we get a little flashback which as you can tell by the black gutters you know it's a flashback <laughs> you know like you guys mentioned that i think when we started kagurabachi and that was something i never knew and like now really it, it now ties <laughs> so much stuff together for me it's not always oh, a man. flashback it could just be like a different -y thing a different space or, yeah, like or as, some as like, another yeah, uh, cutting away to i think it's a hard rule that it's a flashback i'm gonna i'm gonna put my foot down it's not that. a hard rule nah. because no, another no, one no, that no. we read for this little roundup does it for not a flashback yeah uh, i i definitely think like the black borders are just a nice indication that we are not this is not standard in whatever not main way. timeline current so it's, it's up to context for you to figure that out but it's not, it's not a hard rule that you need to learn it just it's like, oh, this is distinct. Why is this a different? Well, we're not seeing you know, Chihiro is in twenty one at this in in this time, so I guess it's a flashback. <laughs> it's like it like primes you yeah, to I, wonder. Yeah, I'm what, usually what able time to con space contextually pick up when things are a flashback. I just think because like this is just literally how you know zero in focus I do on images. I don't even realize <laughs> the border is a different color until you guys <laughs> called it out. No, that's I'm just saying that's that's a good tool. It's a good tool because it doesn't. It's not a hard and fast rule. It just indicates in the back of your brain this is different, and that's why I, I I just appreciate it for that. I'm not I'm not coming down on you for not realizing. Jeez, it's, uh, it's doing its job. It's, it's doing its job, especially if you don't know what it means specifically. I'm gonna make a series yeah. where a pro tag that constantly changes their age, and none of the panels are black. <laughs> yeah, we get the flashback here with the Samora coming in to see Chihiro practicing. But they're that at their little fourteen they're year old. Lad. They're visiting. This is Chihiro out visiting at Samora's house, getting invited over, which is cool. Yeah. So they met on the street last chapter. So I guess he invited him back. Yeah. And I like we get immediately into 
wish I could see his face. Like, why did you blind yourself? I was wondering when we would like learn about this. And then learning that this guy is Buddhist Nicholas D. Wolfwood. <laughs> if anybody knows Trigun, <laughs> this is just Buddhist Wolfwood and I'm all here for it. Worldly passions like anger and desire lead humans to hell. They dull our judgment and our blade. In order to rid myself of those, I blinded myself so so he could become a better swordsman and to follow his little Buddhist path, he blinded himself. But that doesn't prevent him yeah. from, you know, maybe smoking. Yeah, he still likes to put a cigarette in his mouth just to kind it of He doesn't feel light it. it, so it doesn't yeah. count. Yeah, yeah it's true. A, it's enough to distract my mortal shell. Yeah, and then I love this of like him <laughs> after he blinded himself trying to read some like porno mag or something. <laughs> I didn't think about looking at porn. Yeah, yeah and then I do love Mr. Shiba just kind of just constantly being like, ah, dude, like, these are all worldly passions, man. <laughs> like you're you're kind of dropping the ball on your whole thing. Yeah. Really, like, just, like, in, in two pages, already endearing me more than I was just by the concept of him. I'm just like, okay, good. This is... And again, just, like, the writing, for the writing tips, it's just, like, how do you make a character seem human? And we see these, like, perfect depictions of people online, and we don't see the humanity to them. Yeah. Uh, we can see a character being cool and a badass, and we don't see them as human until we realize, okay, they have flaws just like me. They are human. And so these contradictions that we see of him wanting to be follow this Buddhist lifestyle, but desperately craving <laughs> porn and cigarettes is just like, that's, that's, yeah, that's the kind of endearing. very human flaw that makes us feel, oh, he's a human. Oh, he's, he's practically a friend now. We know his I've flaws. I've done big visual acts of devotion only to undercut them later by wishing I hadn't. <laughs> yeah. I, I, and like go, going further to like establishing this here, we mentioned last time we talked about Kagurabachi, how good Kagurabachi is about setting up, even though this is serialized, every chapter has its own story. And so by opening with these two things about Samora, oh, this is the Samora chapter. Also, because the chapter is called Samora, but <laughs> that is like this. <laughs> no, is... yeah, this chapter is about Samora and his and his conflicting Buddhism versus passion. It just really, it is a really good to pick like a make the chapter about something and wrap that up in that moment. Promises and payoffs. Here's a chapter about Samora. Here you're gonna learn about him. There you go. And I like the end of the flashback with Jihiro, like not being able to cut the dummy and then and going like, oh, here, I'll show you how to do it. And then just have that in the back of your mind. We'll, we'll get to that later. And then uh, present day white borders. The, <laughs> the yes. Thank you, Grant. Glad you noticed it. The so proud of you. He's learning. <laughs> Did you read it from right to left, too? Hey, that's only a mistake I was making previously. Did you know if you tried on, like, at least the app? I don't know if it does it here. No, uh, yeah, it'll yeah, yell at it'll you. It'll yell at you and go like, way. hey, idiot, manga goes the other way. Just so you know, I loved that in the old, in the in the physical ones where it's like Naruto yes. popping up. Yeah, like, yeah hey. on the back page, if you mm -hmm. try to open it as if Image it's the front of page. Running. Yeah. Yeah. Those are so good. Just like these monks sitting here, which is cool because we're seeing other people that are not cops that are not uh, gang members <laughs> they're not the are, magic cops uh, they, yeah not the magic cops or anything they're just these little dudes just seemingly just these other monks that also have magic powers so yeah, they cool. just work at the temple yeah well, i can think that his eye doesn't look weird his eye tracked really fast oh right oh that left. yeah him like moving that's, really that's quickly that's the impression i got yeah i yeah. was thinking of that for a second is, is his eye just moving really fast i think his eye just a... looks weird though hmm. yeah he's got like, goat eyes Hard to say. Uh, and then I love this visual with the like the tiles of the roof. You can tell uh, yeah. like that they're coming that they're up and, their like, way up and grabbing like, him. Uh, yeah, like, that's, that that really comes across, across very clearly. It's mm -hmm. it's amazing how viscerally easy it is to read that. Yeah, like this is such a hard thing to capture in art, and just like fuck, like Tokazono is really fucking good at capturing <laughs> motion. There's another panel I'm gonna shout out later. I'm just like holy fuck, this is so good. But the, the, the evasion's happening, and the monks are kind of holding them off, but then uh, we see that there's a shit ton of, like, way more than there were at Koku Goku. So we're going to need help from somebody. Da -da -da. Now Samora is here. There's Samora is there. And then... Like, we are the one we're supposed to protect, Samora. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come on, Samora. And I love getting our fun... Ex we have a reason to have our fun little expo dump because Hakuri has to sit and do nothing other than be <laughs> talked to. <laughs> so it's like, yeah. okay. Yes. He's in recovery, so he, he might as well to let sit him still. shout out the nurse. Yeah. Might as well talk. <laughs> and then them figuring out, like, oh, does Samora fight by, like, sense of smell? And it's like, 
No, he can only use smell to detect old friends whose sense he knows. Which I thought was really cute. Which makes sense. I always like thought like smell can't do too that that much in like the heat of combat because it's just no. like it's particles in the air. You can't really. That doesn't really. They're, they're not flying they're off of a body it, yeah. and moving straight to it to either your nose. You know. It's, Unless they're really um, sweaty, Ben. Unless they're really <laughs> stinky. I don't think the gangsters uh, have a yes. good hygiene. The poop-headed sorcerer. I can <laughs> tell where he is in the room. Pinpoint location. <laughs> Yeah. And so then they're like, okay, yeah, well, let's just uh, chill. Like, don't worry about it. Like, we don't got to do anything. He's got it. And I love the visual of all of them in the temple and Samora standing in front of the statue. And he's like, oh, forgive me for defiling this sanctuary. <laughs> hey, Buddha, yeah. I'm going to make this room really messy. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> and you can see Buddha's trying not to judge. Knows that judging is bad. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you, Buddha. And then right after, <laughs> it's only nine pages. We get, all right, I'm going to need to get fired up here. Bam, yeah. start smoking the cigarette. I picked a bad week to yeah. stop smoking. <laughs> this panel, because like, Ugh. I let this digest for a second. Yeah, because this, so good. I was coming. Okay, and I'm Ben, I'm sure you were appreciating this too. Like, it's so good. flicks the cigarette, and then the cigarette is cut both vertically and horizontally yeah. so i'm like and you know where it's placed in space yeah because of the previous panel is so right i'm like his face. oh so, so what's it's gonna happen to the yeah guy? so like oh the guy isn't getting cut like vertically Once. he's also getting <laughs> huh like how does that work like i'm sitting here trying to figure out how the anatomy of this cigarette is working only to then <laughs> turn the page yeah, and then see setup bam it's like yeah get both of them uh, with the horizontal uh, and the vertical cutting his head and his arm i'm like holy fuck you are so how do you do it how do you draw this this is incredible like yeah, i can't it undersell really how good this amazing. is amazing the the before and after type of move, movement that i described plenty of times before with this it's it's just so good he's very good at just creating a setup where you know exactly where where everything is in space and what what's going to matter for the movement that he shows the immediate cut to afterwards and then you just feel that speed yeah uh, it's great amazing why aren't y'all reading Kagurabachi? Get on it. What the fuck? Come on. Uh, and then we get the revelation that Samora is, uh, this is so fucking cool, attacking through sound. Yeah. And then he uses the little ching sound of him sheathing and unsheathing his sword really quickly, the EI style, which is always my is favorite. So yeah, so the EI is this, the quick draw. You, you draw from the sheath incredibly quickly. You make the slice, and then it goes back in the sheath. So using the sheath click also as echolocation is, is just a brilliant little piece of just connection there. Love it. I was so like, when we picked this up, I really was thinking like, okay, because I, I don't know if you remember, I was like, okay, it's like magic swords. Like, I guess like, that's fine. Like, I was kind of hoping for something more interesting and I was happy that the sorcerers showed up. So it was something more than just swords, but showing here that like dog swords get something <laughs> but, really but fucking swords cool. Feel plenty cool. to go through, yeah. <laughs> You could solve some pretty damn cool sword shit. And I'm like, oh, thank you. This is what I wanted. I love it. So we get the blind EI samurai echolocating <laughs> through the sheathing sound. It's so fucking metal. I'm like, god damn. This is endearing me over the moon. Gonna cry when he dies. Because <laughs> it has yeah. to happen. Because yeah. it feels like it's got to happen. We've had so much good happening lately. There's got to be a death. Yeah, our heroes are going to need some sort of knockdown. No, nah, he's going to turn. Ooh, okay. okay. Or yeah, he gets—he he he looks smoked like that Billy, cigarette. He's and it's, it's, it's made of evil. <gasps> he, yeah, he broke his his binding vow, and now he's gonna yeah. go crazy. Uh, oh. but yeah, he lied in front of the Buddha. <laughs> he lied in front of the Buddha. Penis explosion. <laughs> oh yeah, we learned uh, in this last page that Samura is Uraha's teacher. Yeah. Oh yes. Yeah. Also important to mention that. Uh, yeah. Which 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 makes me double down on if one of them's gonna die, it's gonna be Samura. It I, yeah. no, it has to be, and I'm gonna hate it. But yeah, he's too cool to live. You committed the Gojo crime, Samura. Yeah, he'd probably be the most likely. Yeah. But and the Wolfwood crime. Fuck. He is Wolfwood. He's literally gonna die. Okay. <laughs> so we get them showing that they got the little magic rock that I'm forgetting the name of. Yep. MacGuffin stone. Yeah, the MacGuffin stones. Thanks, Sojo. And then let me pull out the pull out this uh, bad boy here. <laughs> like, holy this fuck! Another great, just, like the foreshortening on all this, and just like the the ultra wide type lens that he mm -hmm. formed with this light fisheye 
near the edges. Like that's hard to uh, draw and account for. Yeah, um, this is hard. Lens. And you're doing this every week. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you okay? Are you a human? I don't understand it. Like this is unreal. I, I couldn't possibly understand this. Yeah, and what? Didn't they say like, yeah, I picked up drawing in the pandemic or whatever the fuck? What? <laughs> Shut up. Oh, die. I, I hate everything. People do that. Uh, like, I. I mean, I've seen my friend Caden from True. Do that. He is actually releasing a, a starting a Kickstarter on October first. By the time this video comes out, oh, it's that soon. And Fuck. Yeah, it's called Lugi, and I, I it tried kind of influenced him to make it a lot more manga because he started from a very American comic perspective. So it's kind of the best of both worlds, and it's amazing. And he started his art career. Like three years ago, it feels That's like. That's crazy. I yeah. Didn't know and that. he has easily surpassed me yeah, in that his, amount his of time. His stuff looks amazing. Yeah. It's 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 out of this world. It's better than anything I could ever do. And I've been. I'm waiting for you to like put up. You got to put a picture on the video when you make the video on. Oh it. yeah, absolutely. So definitely check that out. I'm I'm serious. Like I I talked with him a lot about building up his story. So if you like manga, if you like One Piece, if you like these types of stories, this will scratch it. This will definitely scratch a lot of your itches for a story like that and it's just insanely good so i definitely recommend checking that out and, and supporting if you can i'm happy you awesome. brought him up because i was gonna bring him up with like oh no the fucking that's right <laughs> <laughs> we literally know people who could do it and i'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs yeah. <laughs> oh, okay well maybe one day i'll start picking up the pen and then oh my god yeah. i just guess i'm going to hell too in front of the fucking stat just so good oh my god <laughs> this chapter's amazing this is just so so I know I'm glazing, as the kids say, and then and we then get back the... to to flashback. And then see like that. The... Yeah. Ah! <laughs> just a, a wonderful bam, again bam, bam, bookend, bam. starting right. and ending chapter. It just makes every week feel satisfying to read. So okay, so as the people who know more Japanese than me, Toby Mune, does that mean something? Can we? glean maybe what his enchanted blades power is in any way yeah i was gonna look that up but i forgot to do you, does anyone do you, Karen, do you know offhand? flying purpose principle is what i'm finding online blind <laughs> uh, or did you say flying oh, flying blind purpose i keep seeing toby ume which is a bleach character apparently and she okay here's the kagura 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 wiki I'm looking for the the kanjis from it and seeing what they say. Daten Seki, yeah. that's the magic rock that we forgot the name of. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Here, here. Intent. I'm looking at the day. Toby Mune. Because the only one, and I don't know if it's just like it's the only one that felt translated or whatever. We had Cloud Gouger, which yeah. had all kinds of lightning stuff. I wonder if that was probably written in like katakana and like you know the in English kind of. Yeah. Kudaudo gouge. Okay, so the I sent you the Japanese, Kieran. I got it here. This is, is it? yeah, yeah. The first kanji there is for it's a shogi piece for the rook is what it's commonly used for for that kanji, and then mm -hmm. the fly ball in baseball is another like common okay. root for it. So so, so like a low level home run. And then the second kanji here is Virtuous Ancestor. Or uh, these are both very rare kanji. There's a more common one that says like, oh, tenants of a religious sect. So yeah. yeah so that's like a Buddhist sword, basically. But maybe he likes baseball. So, okay, so fly, uh, what the rook, I know, I only know the, how the rook works in chess. Uh, does anyone know uh, how the rook works see. in shogi? Oh, it says fly, skip, parentheses, pages, or to scatter is other like meanings this kanji could have mm. so he puts you in pieces he did split that cigarette in four because when i hear flying like it reminds me of the zoro from one piece his flying blade technique is where he's actually able to extend the slice beyond his blade just like mm -hmm. <laughs> a, a, a slashing wave that he sends out yeah so that made me wonder about that i think it's gonna have it's definitely come so it's all coming together with the uh, him being buddhist and shit with this as well mm. like Oh, yeah. The, the last even chat says the rook is a castle, so maybe it's like a fortress of virtue. Maybe? Mm. Like, I could see something with that. This one might be a spacey, where I say spacey in the sense of like a wacky one, uh, with it being mm. like these kanji being like religious. It's like, because this yeah. last one is like religion, sect, denomination, like a lot of, a lot of like religious terms go into that, the mune kanji. So the scattering of something. 
of religious virtue. Scattered, yeah, yeah, Jay. Like a sh- Jay holy Bagel shotgun. Shattered virtues. <laughs> man, ke- man keeps breaking the vows. Ooh, like that's, yeah, yeah. Mm, shattered and shattered. Oh yeah, and the 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 guard looks kind of like wings or something. So like the flying aspect might be part of it. Yeah, and he does the EI shit. So that could that could be some crazy shit. Yeah, I'm gonna get some like spatial power. I think that is a good a good guess there. I think it's gonna be something abstract, like because we haven't seen that many do something crazy outside of like the like N tens, te- magic teleport yeah, and I, jellyfish shit. It honestly <laughs> well, feels like it's been a few chapters goldfish. since we've seen magic swords do magic stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're we're building up to it because I mean the idea is that we're just gonna get two at once and then we're just gonna go crazy. So we're we're doing a bit of a build up to, towards that. Yeah, I just want to know what all of our goofy enchanted blades do. Yeah, I want it to be a slow burn though. I don't want to know all. No, of yeah, them. yeah, don't, yeah, don't give me a list right out, of, right out the gate. I just like this, this dripping of little bits of knowledge. Reedy, bam, hardest, hardest reading Absolute in my life. Reedy. Of course, like this is this is a great chapter even among Kagurabachi. I, I love it. Reedy, it was pretty good. What do you think? <laughs> I, what do you think of the whole thing, Tyler? I feel like you didn't say a ton for this one. Not to put it you was on the pretty spot. Good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, just fun action. It's a strong one. Fucking awesome. Right. Love Kagurabachi. Started with you. You wouldn't disappoint. Love you. I'm all smooches forever. <laughs> Smoochy smooch. Keep being cool. Great stuff. And we know that our golden goose is looking a little lonely, my friends. <laughs> we got to right. we gotta have something to keep a Chihiro warm on the bench. So what do you want to start with? We go oldest to newest. Uh, so Ichi I'm the cool Witch. Start with Ichi the Witch? The popular yeah, one good. everybody's talking about? I'm down to the kick, popular kick one. off with Ichi. And then, okay. Okay. Let's do it. Ichi the Witch. For this one, we're not going to be going through every panel, everything. I think we can do like a broad strokes thing of it, but I will have some like big moments of like chapter one in here to some give the, the, point out. the TLDR sure. for stuff. Yeah. So the main, or does anybody else want to like summarize Ichi the Witch? I can just pull up the visuals if you want to talk about it. Uh, yeah, I'll summarize. So we start out with this boy who's clearly just like a, a wild man, grow, has grown up in the woods, loves hunting. He says, I love nature and I want to kill everything. That's the first <laughs> which, page. Great first page. <laughs> which I always I always put so much emphasis on the first page. I love a good, intriguing first page. And they and everyone says, like Araki in his book, says of how to make manga, in case that yes, wasn't clear. Yes, first page. Uh, Hirohiko Araki says, first page, you got to have something that immediately is intriguing and sets up uh, not only sets up a setting but makes you intrigued towards a character yeah that raises so, questions in that way like yes. who what when where like it's all ans- like asks all those questions and kind of answers some of them yes so that's a, a very good start and so we're seeing that he's kind of just living this killer be killed kind of lifestyle but killing without being without attempted murder is murder yourself yes. so he's like okay kill whatever it's trying to kill me or other humans and then he comes across a a magic a magic like it's it's just spelled m-a-j-i-k a magic i guess yeah I yeah mean, i was I just so. internally pronouncing it magic like they, like they probably for japanese people who use a different term for magic yeah, they what, probably the I wish I saw what the katakana just, was or like whatever the fuck they use they probably just have the katakana magic probably yeah so that's what these magical creatures are. So witches come to kill this beast that he finds in the forest, which is very intimidating looking. And it turns out this beast that Ichi finds is the king of all magics, these creatures that grant magic powers. And the only way he can be killed is by someone who isn't a woman. But the only people who possess magic in this world are women. So clearly he cannot be killed by any possible person, except it turns out Ichi is probably a boy and uh, Ichi <laughs> kills him and gains his powers. And that's yeah. uh, that's the premise. That's the setup for the entire, uh, for the for the full chapter one. Yeah. Yeah, Ichi basically hears him go like, ha ha, but my special thing is I can't be killed by women. So there's nothing you can do. I'm just going to keep murdering and being evil and there's no one who can stop me. <laughs> And that was all Ichi needed to hear to be like, oh, so I can give myself permission to kill you and I'm a boy, so it don't matter. Yeah, importantly, it was right after, right after the, like, attacking him was like, oh, yeah. you just tried to kill me. Now I can, now I can kill you. And then in oh, one yes, hit, yes. just bam. Death for death. Yeah, death for death, death, for death. is, uh, is Ichi's, like, creed. 
by and uh, then for the remaining chapters we read just a quick summary of those this uh, this witch who was originally trying to kill the king of magics Descaris, I believe. Yeah, Descaris. Is is trying to convince him, hey, you could be torn apart and experimented on because you're the first boy who's ever done magic. Just come with me and hunt magics for me and with me oh. so that you can stay alive. Yeah, actually, something that I don't think we really covered when we went over it. Like, the whole thing with magics is they basically give you a trial, and if you can pass their trial, you get their power. Yes. Uh, yes. And so his trial was, I can't be killed by women. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's gonna stab my heart, but it can't be done by women. Yeah. yeah. Anyone but a woman can stab my heart. And Ichi's, heart Ichi's the power, the, this this monster, this this magic is King Uroro. And then King Uroro's power is just any normal spell. Because all of them, like, stack. It's like they're adding it to, like, a like witches have a roster of, like, chants yeah. or whatever uh, the fuck they have. It gives them a, a super, like, it, it basically gives them a super spell. It seems like there's generic magic, but a real cool spells you need to defeat and acquire a magic and some of them might be like use. chant thingies some of them seem to be like passive buffs to think about it in like video game terms and this Aurora one is just hey anything that you do is just gonna do the the biggest that it can so like at the at the, like the end of that one chapter like Ichi shoots this giant fucking blast and it does like this this one little thing is like, oh, what's that one spell that you tried to do on that thing? Let me say it. Bam. And then blows this giant crater in the mountain. And then like, oh, hey, that, that's your power. Is that anything you say that you're going to do will just happen really you're fucking big. You're going to big. do the, the, the level nine spell version of it. You do the times 100 Big Bang Kamehameha. Yeah. You don't do a normal one. But yep. you pass out for three days <laughs> <laughs> after doing that. And, and so then they start going to the what I assume is the magic Institute in the big city to report to the head witches. And, and that's kind of where the chapters leave off. So yeah. I think that's, that's the general gist of what we, of what we've seen from this. Does that sound about right? I think so. Were there any yeah. like nitty gritty details anybody else wanted to bring up? We can talk like in broad strokes too, about everything if you want. I like the, you know, it was like, I, I kind of like the, the evil, what you call it? The Uru, the King magic. I, I, I liked that it's going to stick around because it seemed like it had kind of a fun personality in the first chapter. And when he just like immediately yep. killed it, I was like, oh, that's kind of too bad. That thing seemed fun. Yeah. But it's it, it kind of like now has become part of him. So it's still like, like I don't know if that's gonna, how it's going to be with all of the magics because I don't really get that impression from the next one he gets. But like, it'd be cool if they kind of stick around in some way. Yeah. 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 So it, it definitely seems like... A, a, to use the comparisons as to describe it, it's uh, it's basically Pokemon, but for for magic, because the idea it seems to be that when you acquire these magics, they turn into a little stone, and presumably you can summon them from that yes. stone. That's that's my guess. I'm not. Kidding. I don't know if you can so, summon them or like use that power. Use like their, they're use their power. Like a lightning stone. Given the fact that they can have strong personalities, like what we've seen already from both the wolf and the and Urodo. It feels like it might summon them because we want to see them those personalities again. That's I'm not 100 percent sure, not but the that rule. might be. Yeah, yeah, it could be, but either way, yeah, it seems like it's kind of like you you clear and now you got their power to use. Yeah, which is so. So that's like the general, lore I tidbits. I think that I don't think there's anything else like major that's happened so far. They go over like we talked about how women can use magic and men can't. They give like little like. There's kind of like breakdowns at some point. I want to say it might be in the third or fourth it's chapter. It's four, I think. Where, There's like a little where, diagram of shit. Where they're like, men can't use magic at all. Every woman can like use magic items, but only some women are like actually skilled and can like cast real spells. So there's like magic yep. items that yeah. men also can't use. Yeah, here it is. The like like the little hierarchy, which I think is cool. The breakdown of it. Yeah. yeah. The average man, no magic no power, magic can't use at magic all. at all. So I'd say in general, just kind of start starting to talk about opinion stuff for this. Mm. I think it's it's a really strong start to a kind of like world that you can get invested in. It's kind of strange to me that there is this restriction of only women can do this just because it feels like it's 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 a limitation that I haven't found the exact purpose for mm. yet. And part of me wonders if it's a limitation that only exists so that the writer doesn't have to force all men to be the main character and can have something in a shonen based manga where women are the majority of the cast like that that kind like i have to wonder about that but 
I don't know. I might I might be missing the point a bit. What nah, do you guys see, think? you don't understand how this is built in to make you see just how Chad the dude characters are when they show <laughs> up. Because if they're able to do stuff that matters that <laughs> without that, magic, like, yeah, exactly. They're doing it because they're freaking men and they got guts. And so that's you know I'm mostly joking, but that could be <laughs> yeah. the, rich, I guess. the thing. I was so this was the first first thing to me. All right, if we're gonna if we're gonna transition to opinion shit. I thought this was going to be a a trans femme thing. I really was hoping. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I thought that wow. this was going to be I thought this was going to be there's no men that can do magic and they're like, "Oh, but, you can but, do it. Why is that?" Yeah. That is what I had I all my chips of, on. I was of a man embracing his femininity. Yes, I was hoping like to God that was that's what it was going to be, but you know, it's Shonen Jump, of course they're not going to do that. Uh, so on that, like, I thought that's what that's what this was setting up for. So then when it became a Lamau, only a, a man can kill me. And then thank God we have our hunter man here. God forbid women have anything. Thanks for saving us. Yeah, dude. Finally a man gets gets something in these mangas. He's yeah, standing up, represent. Yeah, I think they've uh, the women have had it good for too long. Thank God Ichi's here to, to take what's rightfully ours, which is everything, apparently. Um, yeah, I guess if the risk of this manga comes into it's just like Ichi, Ichi's the one who does everything better. Like, yeah, it's goodness, like we've like, got this man. Thank God we have the man savior, which is that... who gets to have the strongest <laughs> magic. <laughs> but that's so that could be a bit of an issue. No, I I think that's the most disingenuous reading of it. I I don't oh, think yeah, I don't think that's I, I don't actually think that's actually what it is. I I, I feel like it's just something you have to be careful of. It depends. <laughs> it depends on how it goes. Yeah, going forward. The the thing that I, I was just really hoping that's what it was just. From the premise like i see the art i'm like look at this gay motherfucker fuck yeah let's get it and then i was like no okay never mind but this is this was a, as it goes on though like i was it really was like i was i was kind of upset though. i was like really that's what you're gonna do that oh a man can kill me thank god i'm a man fuck yeah and it's like okay sure i get it it's like yeah. the witch king in lord of the rings yeah but that's uh, cool no, no man can slay me <laughs> and then like yeah, i am no I'm man. a man bam and that's cool which it that is fun but then so i was thinking like oh god this is a trans femme nightmare it's, it's like i'm just getting queer baited into this thing but no <laughs> because then ichi puts on these gay ass shoes <laughs> yeah <laughs> and starts flying around like a gay motherfucker and i'm like okay hold on Maybe maybe yeah. this is a the little gender queer gender fluid dream. This is some representation that I was looking for. So I'm gonna say that uh, all I needed to see was them strutting around their stuff with this gay little suit and these gay little boots. And I'm like, fuck yeah, okay, I'm in. So there could be there could be a lot of a lot of potential for like what direction this could go then with the whole gender. They they just specified this whole gender thing up front, so there's got to be something about it. Yeah, like I, I'm wondering if there's. It just seems like a. It just seems like a thing to set up to say something about what that is. I don't know. And like, I'm not going to decry it or whatever. Like, I don't, I don't really, I'm not that like invested yeah. in, in that angle of it. It's just something like, oh, that would be neat. Cause seeing that in a publication this big would be really cool to see like something explored in that sense. But yeah. I just hope it's not like the fucking, yeah, big thanks. Thanks for, you know, nice that like the guys here and like fixes everything. It's like, okay, <laughs> got it. Yeah. I feel like if it was going to go in that direction, Ichi would have a much more traditionally like masculine appearance. I, I think, like yeah. Would, I think That's that would true, become yeah. the bit. Like it would be this buff dude who is doing magic or something. Yeah. But because he like, you know, being young, but also like just kind of looks a little bit more feminine kind of in the middle. I think it kind of helps maybe more in that direction. For sure. And I mean, Vic Weave has it too. Like this could still go the trans route. Like this, this does seem like a, it could still do that. In a very like self-discovery oh, yeah. way, it just, I just, I see it. It's right there. I'm, I'm jujitsuing myself all over again. You've got the <laughs> chips on the table. It would be the so promises cool. Made. That's a good thing. Believe in the best of uh, the potential. I Believe am, and I'm, I'm, I, I, I think that'd be humanity. I think that'd be fun. But you know, I, I, whatever. That's the thing that I took away from it. But you know, that was uh, one thing. What would you think? Yeah, I, I've enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> I think this is the one I've been, I like the most out of what we're experimenting with oh really even though i so I, I mainly story. think i like the world a lot more than like because i don't think the characters really are i think out of every out of the three that we're reading that it has the weakest characters but i think the goal is that it set up is fun where he's just wanting to hunt stuff and i think it's just going to be one of those okay he's in getting into magic school with his 
little venom power. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, one thing that I like noticed like when reading this is that it feels like half of the time this person draws faces, they are like the chibi faces. Yes, and there's so many really cutesy ruins... faces. I think that actually ruins a lot of the character what? moments for them because it's just like it simplifies their face so much to the point that you, I hardly remember what their actual faces look like. And it makes it very hard for them to express subtler emotions other than just this is a silly moment. And they're making the chibi faces even when it's not a silly moment. How is this so, not great, Ben? Look at that. No, no, that one's fun. Like, it, okay. but, that, but then it keeps <laughs> happening. It, they it's do do it, yeah. D Dis Discaris in particular yes, in, I think never it... has her normal face on and I don't know what her deal is because of that because everything is just like a goofy scene that you're not supposed to take seriously so what about her is real? Well know? this is what she really looks like. Yeah ben. this is her okay? Yeah. <laughs> God forbid women do face. anything Ben alright? You come God in you take the magic powers she can't just women have fun. Women only a vehicle for gags <laughs> and not have a real character to them. But yeah, this is I I I do agree with like that criticism of it. I do think that there could be more character development of it. Like as a whole, it does feel like out of everything we've read, it has the weakest shit set up. But the art's really pretty. It's yeah, just pretty it's to look at. Pretty, I think it's got the prettiest art, but the characters are just like okay, well he's just introduced to something and then has fun with it and then is the best going 100%. And that's what I'm going to expect going forward. But I'm excited to see how, like, these trials and everything. What was the last thing they heard? I don't know. I think <laughs> I we... What, what, what was the last thing you heard? Okay. Technical difficulties. Um, we yeah, had a bit of an issue. What was the last thing you heard, Kieran? I don't remember. You were talking. I said something about characters being weak, but it looked pretty. And then you were said a couple words, and then it exploded, and then my short-term memory faded. Oh, yeah. I think I think it's got the prettiest art out of the three. But Be like, careful. If you say think... exactly what you said, it's going to crash again. <laughs> no! We're putting, we're putting your audio recordings on top of each other, and if they don't match up exactly, the whole thing collapses. <laughs> yep. My brain reset. Yeah. So uh, good, good art. Uh... Got good art. I think the I I think the characters are aren't the strongest compared to the other two. But one of the yeah yeah. So. But I started... I'm excited for the trials and everything. Yeah, that's what it was. That's it. Okay. Yes, because you mentioned um, the trials, and I was like, yes, that is a really cool concept. I'm excited to see what that turns hook. into. Yes, yeah. that guy can turn into a lot of interesting battles. For, like, just, like, their little world setup, the, the goal or whatever that they have that I... I feel like Shonen's normally set up, like, this little goal uh, that's easy to, like, the end goal or whatever, which this isn't really an end goal, but it's whatever. Which, like, Naruto's becoming Hokage. Jujutsu Kaisen is kind of to like die. removing Tsukuna. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, which is just him hunting, which is like, yes, I'm okay, seeing that, but I'm more excited to see these trials. Yeah, I think we'll get some fun trials with them, and I think I that it doesn't just become a a, a, a fight. Back. I think the meal the the table is prepared for an excellent meal. They might be preparing a dish, as the kids might say. And what I was saying entirely offline, apparently, was that I did a bit of research into this to figure out uh, who made it because there was a team of two people, a story and artist. And so I looked them up because I was like, oh, OK. And it felt like per a lot of it felt purposeful and confident and all that stuff. And so I was like, OK, these, these guys are probably experienced in manga. And it turns out they are. The first one, the writer did Welcome to Demon School, Iruma Kun, which is an anime that it's an it became an anime it's a manga that lasted like 350 chapters i don't think i've ever heard of it really but it seems i have, to have a done friend who well really likes itself. it but i've never seen it myself that's my i watched frame like of reference. two random episodes and it seemed really generic yeah so I, this is kind of setting up to be <laughs> so that might be something to keep an eye out for and then the artist shiro usazaki was in a manga that i was thinking I, from what I hear, was getting pretty popular called Act Age. It's a story oh, about I actors. heard of that, yeah. And oh, the look. writer counterpart, not the artist who's working on this, but the writer got sent to jail for doing some really bad stuff to kids specifically. So oh. Oh. that was canceled immediately as soon as he got arrested. That's probably and, why I heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so it's it's good to see that the artist was able to come Has back found from that. other work. Because the writer uh, they they teamed up with was just unfortunately yeah this really art is name. amazing like I I love this like this is 
And, really and so I looked through Act Age, and they're good with, like, I complained about the expressions and stuff not being there because they did a whole bunch of chibi faces. They didn't do that much in Act Age, so it's, it's kind of a surprising shift from what I've seen. But hopefully that means that once, once we can get to a point where acting, the character acting is actually important, it, they'll be good at it. Yeah. So I think that's, that's our, our coverage for Ichi the Witch so far. Let's, I say we just plow on right, right to the next one, and then we give our votes at the end. More like Ichi the, I'm not going to say it. The v v Witch. There you go. Yeah. Let's do Shinobi Undercover. Shinobi, Shinobi Undercover. Undercover. So Shinobi Undercover is cool. I can go ahead and summarize this one. So with Shinobi Undercover, they basically open up being like ninjas still exist. Like in modern day, there are still ninjas protecting, like like basically working for Japan and still protecting the, you know, the interests of the country. But they work if in I secret. If I can interrupt for a quick second, I believe the title in Japanese is like Shinobi, Shinobi Job or Shin, Shinobi Employment or something like that. So it, it very much is just like, being a ninja is my job. Yes, that's what they are now. And we kind of get a glance at like one of the really good ninjas doing his thing. And now he's been called into a new assignment. You must protect this young girl. But the thing with this guy is he can't stand socializing. He's a great ninja. He's great at being stealthy and sneaky. And if he has to actually interact with people, it gives him horrible anxiety. And he just can't mentally deal. But now he has to infiltrate a high school. Become a normal high school student, but don't get too close to the target. You can't be obvious that you're protecting her. So kind of be on the periphery, but don't let her see you. Uh, we've got these other ninjas already stationed in the high school. One's going to be your boyfriend. One's going to be your best friend. You're just kind of there to make sure nothing happens to them. Do not directly interact. But lo and behold, he directly interacts. <laughs> and <laughs> thus the story continues. Yeah. yeah so one uh, big, like, thematic idea from this is just that or not thematic even just like a big character thing for this girl Owie is that she feels like everyone is like kind of fake because everyone around her kind of is and she immediately attaches herself to this main guy Yodaka because of the fact that he's showing genuine like fright over his social anxiety yeah not putting on a face and acting like everything's all hunky dory like oh you're kind of bad at this part so you seem <laughs> a little more real than every other interaction i've ever had yeah is there any like and then we get like a, we get this dude showing up they're like oh the organization that they work for is like hey there's uh, Nor normies at the school could also be uh, bad ninjas so yes yeah we, yeah. we kind of learned that whoever his target like the they're like the person he's protecting is like you know on a lot of lists to be hunted down she is apparently like part of i don't know if we get like super into it with these three chapters but like she is part of a wealthy family i think is like wh what her yeah, we'll she is. A wealthy family. Is yeah. underground or i have a lot to talk about with that specifically okay, yeah. so we'll talk about <laughs> okay. that later so um, the idea is like this school is also going to be full of people who are trying to get her either yeah kidnapping her killing her exactly what it is we're not sure uh but ninja boy is gonna have to stealthily protect her he cannot show her him acting as her protector otherwise that will blow his cover so it's going to be a lot of fun like you know we got to keep her distracted while i kill this guy basically is is going to from what i can tell be like the 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 running thrust of this series yeah and that she's they say it here okay yeah the other chapters that we've seen uh, just kind of keep that up they go out to karaoke and then dudes attack at the... Ca oh, no. First, they did, like, the bullies show up. And then he fucks up the bully. We got a fun little interaction with that there. The the other two remaining ninjas take everybody out to karaoke. And then quickly drop the facade where they're like, hey, there's somebody going to kill him. Like, we're all pretending <laughs> Yo, we to be tell, friends, we but we know we're working together. It's like playing a game of Hitman with two other people that are also playing Hitman with you. <laughs> and you have to pretend that you guys aren't trying to kill other people yeah and this has like the central conceit of it established that is, is that the plot summary can we talk opinions now yeah let's go yeah, straight I into so. it yeah. it's kind of a straightforward concept that i think is I... gonna get boring immediately <laughs> is what I, I, I thought the same <laughs> <laughs> i my my first gripe is this when he's like hey do you even understand the privilege and wealth she's at the center of 
She's got a price on her head in the underworld, and she hasn't got any parents or siblings. Then how does she have the money? Uh, well, she inherited soul, it from her dead. Soul. Okay. So Probably. she has it already? I think That's so. my assumption. She like, has she's... an allowance from whatever thing. I don't care. Like, I don't, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's the whole thing where it's like, I'm living by myself. My parents live abroad, and I have the whole house by myself thing. I don't, that's a, just the setup part as far as I care. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. just like, okay, well, there it is. Why can you not tell her you're protecting her? If she has money, bodyguards are a concept. You have a chauffeur, so you understand that there are adults that like care for you. <laughs> How is this a secret? I don't know if this is like, because I was just watching your dad's last I, will and I was, testament. I don't know. I it was feel to let like, her live a normal life. I kind of feel like there's just a lot left unexplained right now. To, so maybe there's there there very easily could be a good explanation for this. Like it, I don't think like any explanation will make me happy because this is the most boring contrived conflict <laughs> I've ever seen. Like oh you can't tell her you're protecting her. Like why? Uh, Why not? Because that makes it fun. That's the that's the fun. We it's gotta, fun we for gotta what? A hundred chapters? Gonna... Maybe, maybe ten. Maybe ten. It's fun. I don't need <laughs> this to be a hundred chapters. That's the thing. This yeah. could be twenty I, I chapters. I think manga requires it to be to to be <laughs> able to be extended though. Like yeah, the, the like you need manga. premise to be allowed to embellish for in per in in petual amount of time, just as long as they need it, as long as it's making money. You got to be able to keep doing shit with it. And I'm like, how long are you gonna keep doing shit with this? I do I do agree fundamentally with the limited lifespan of a story like this. However, yeah. I do want to say that specifically for like, oh, what's why is everyone attacking this girl? Why is this organization trying to protect this girl? We know nothing about the organization. We almost we know almost nothing about the girl. Sure, she's wealthy, but that doesn't seem to be a reason that that an an, an organization would alt, altruistically protect her without any without well, any it, financial incentive or anything. It it's really hard also, to tell what that is. It, it, it it begs a question that it has not answered yet. So I don't yeah. want to just assume the worst of it and say they didn't think about that. They just want the premise. Oh, for like, sure. And also, like, we kind of get the impression that, like, the ninja stuff might be like a like a government political entity thing. So, like, yes. for all we know, this is like this is like the daughter of a politician or something or an important, like, higher up person that like was killed but we know she holds the same ideals and could move the people in a certain way if we keep her alive she has a secret superpower a... that could blow up the world if she feels threatened i don't know but so i i don't think there's enough to tell that for that but i do think the fact that we are starting off in the middle of this kids he's like he's already a ninja we don't know how he became a ninja we don't know anything about that we've just jumped right into this living breathing existing world partially like a, it feels like a little bit into the story already just so you can skip a lot of the boring exposition but that makes it feel like we're not living through this guy's story we're just having a fun adventure week to week and that will get dull after about 10 weeks that's my thoughts on it that's exactly what i think but hey what if we have like the cool you know main kids background arc or something where we learn his tragic past and why he is this loner ninja hmm maybe that could be exciting it could be it's just it feels like we didn't feel feel the story didn't start at the start is is my concern and that uh that doesn't it doesn't bode well it's it could easily fix itself and make itself more intriguing for a long-term narrative but it hasn't proven it to us yet i don't think the like the character having social inner like anxiety is cute but it's like how how long is that going to be cute? It's mm -hmm. the same thing of like, we were just shitting on Don to Don doing the one thing, the <laughs> conflict risen by miscommunication. How often is that going to happen here? Because it's like already the crux of everything. And it just seems so forced and bad. I, I hate it. I hate this type of conflict. This is just, I don't know how to make people not talk about things and I need to have things go on forever. Here's just a, a conflict I could think of. You are a writer. A you are a god. <laughs> There's no, you don't just, like, you could do anything. And so you just decided to go, oh, well, he just can't say it just for a reason. And I'm sitting here to go, I don't like that. I don't like that reason. I hate this <laughs> fake conflict. Tell me why. Give me a good reason. Then I will follow you. But right now I'm like, I don't, I don't care. It does inherently feel like a story that's set up to be like, I just want to make a story that people will come back to week to week. And and not have this and not have this this build up this this momentum or anything to it. I kind of that's kind of what it feels like to me. Again, this is the first three chapters. You could be wrong, but it it feels like it was 
it's something that's shooting for the middle and not for yeah. the top. I think it's, I know I just like, I was railing on it, but to give it positives, <laughs> I think, it, I think the art's really cute. I think the expressions are fun. When Yodaka has like anxiety attack moments, it's very uh, expressive. And I like how he constantly just ending up like in a trash can. Yeah, and I, I other love shit. Like just like, <laughs> yeah. I think it has really happen? fun. Yeah, I think it has really yeah. fun page turn moments. Yeah. The interesting yeah. thing is like this, the, we, yeah, we've been, we've been going hard on it, but this, this actually was genuinely fun to read. Yeah, it's just we I could all, more we're just in- all seeing the signs a- along the road. Is is our concern? So we we had fun with it. At least I did. I had a lot of fun. I with yeah, this. I had fun with it. Yeah, I I like this one a lot. And maybe it's just because I'm like you know a a sitcom simpleton where the miscommunication thing is honestly one of my favorite tropes. <laughs> but I I love the idea. <laughs> like just like we're going to have these life or death situations, and the whole object is like we could solve this problem easily, but the problem is we can't let her know about it, and that's what's going to make it difficult. Like I. I enjoy that kind of limitation. I like the, you know, we've got our heroes who are going to be these ninjas who could solve this problem if if only the other character would turn around. Like I I like that kind of stuff. I think that's fun and I like the I, like the the bottle that puts the writer in for like what kind of scenarios to make. Um I think that yeah, it it is like for like it feels like it's for an episodic thing. It feels like it's for a sitcom thing. And yeah, like, uh, like, it's I guess the kind maybe of thing that's that where my head is like, into... where it's like, if this only goes like 25 or 30 chapters or something, I think that's a fun bit that could last that long. Like yeah. understanding like, yeah, the idea of like a hundred plus chapters of this probably not going to hold up. But I also, like, I, I feel like by that point, maybe like there will be enough dynamic shifts in the story where this won't be the one thing, you know, not Yu Yu Hakusho is not solving ghost crimes the whole time. Dragon Ball is not collecting seven orbs the whole time. Like, we're getting this opening premise, but I assume if it keeps going, we'll have reasons for it to change. But I, like, I, I, at probably. least for me, like, I, like, and again, maybe it's just fun factor, but I really liked these opening chapters and, and, and thought it was like, like, no, oh, that's a cute concept for it. Also, we haven't really talked about it. I like our main character, like, not having, you know, QB or whatever, but constantly having a voice in his ear. I like oh, that. Yeah. He's, yeah. I like yeah, that we he's didn't got, you know, that. the the ninja chief or whoever we still don't really know they're also kind of kept in shrouded in mystery but he's the got operator. his handler yeah we've got he's got his operator constantly telling him like hey your person's going in here or your 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 coat your fellow ninjas are are these people and they're already doing this you need to go there yeah, it's uh, a constant and, and, like straight man is it's very it's a very good tool yeah. for for making these yeah and, uh, oh sure yeah. go ahead Okay, well, just a little bit of theorizing. I'm gonna. I bet there's gonna be a student council that's all assassins that are out to get her. I can see that. <laughs> yep. We have yeah, to deal with the that. dastardly student council or sports club. Yeah. But what I said before is just it's shooting for the middle. It feels like it's something that is, is specifically designed so that you can pick it up once a week, have a good laugh without thinking too much about it. You're not. You're not theorizing. You're not thinking oh how's the world affected by this or what how's this power system work it's just like i'm gonna read this have a bit of fun and put it down and that'll be it it's kind of like a gag manga and those are kind of known for just always hovering around the middle of shonen jump stats and it's kind of like it's a very safe play and i think that's the thing with me is i've i can't think of many gag manga that i've ever been like fuck yeah week to week can't wait for this with sunday funnies like i'm not I don't get excited for that. It's yeah. just a thing that I would like maybe look at sometimes. And it's like, it, it is a background thing for me. Uh, this guy never waited week to it, week I mean, for the it's new like Spongebob. A sitcom. It's, it's, it's like a guy sitcom like Grant said. I was stoked for though. Cartoon Cartoon Fridays. Okay. I, 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 see I was it. stoked for Cartoon Cartoon Fridays, but those had fun people that I liked where this has middling people who don't do anything. Because <laughs> you've only read three chapters. I <laughs> love Dexter in one episode. I, he had 10 minutes in my life and I loved him. Yeah, his whole bit was Dee Dee, don't break my laboratory. Exactly. And it was a good bit. And we loved it. And we loved it. And we liked what he said, Dee Dee, don't and break my laboratory. And we liked it. And it'll be out when it's out. But that's, this is, I, 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 if I have to be the harshest one, whatever, I'll be the harshest one on this one. Uh, not a fan. It's a contrived conflict. Stupid, and dumb, and bad. Just fucking talk to her. If I had to, to make her. a prediction of how well it'll do, though, I'd say it'll stick around for a little while, but it won't, it, it won't. It won't make anyone I'd talk. I give it about forty it. chapters. Yeah, that's a good guess. I think. Yeah. To also, I also looked into this one because it's also a team of a writer and artist. 
they both worked together on a series called Candy Flurry, which got 22 chapters in, which when it's that short, you kind of can presume that it was canceled. So, and I think people in the comments of this one were saying, oh, I hope I I liked Candy Flurry. I hope this one goes better this time around. So track record, not looking, not looking perfect for them, but we'll just have to see. Just talk. Okay. Just say (laughs) words. Can't think of how many fewer seasons of Lost we'd have if people did that. Yeah, it might have been good, honestly. That might have been for the better. <laughs> you know you don't mean that. I do mean it, actually. <laughs> that would have made all the shit better, because the best parts of that show were when they were talking like jo- like fucking like Locke and Jack. Them talking best parts of the show. Yeah, Everybody going, true. oh, I wonder what, uh, if, if Sawyer's mad at me. Anyways. And it was all right. great, because it was now let's let's just cruise right on to the last one that we and the most <laughs> brand new of the comics. Yes, and as the only the person here who's done any game development, yeah, I've done a little. I've done a teensy okay, then, bit. I guess Ben knows. Uh, got this. I played RPG Maker for about <laughs> three hours. Yeah, and then went. This is too hard for us to yeah. do. A game. And, yeah, experts. I okay. have at least enough understanding to go. Hmm, I can't do this. <laughs> <laughs> so this one. <laughs> hold on, I got shit in my throat. Give me two seconds. Sure. So this one is Hakutaku, which features, I don't know what that t- title means. I, I tried I, looking it up and it's apparently a yokai of some sort. I didn't figure out any major oh. connection there though. But this is the, the newest of the ones that we saw. This debuted last week. And the premise of this one is that we have a, 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 a wannabe game developer who is not very good at it. And then a kid who has no friends who loves gamifying everything. Which, yep. as somebody who had, like, no friends growing up because I moved every year, I had to learn how to talk to people, but also learned how to pick up on, like, patterns and things. And, like, oh, like, if I, I can do X, Y, Z or blah, 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 whatever. Like, I, I gamify so much shit in my life. So this was very fun to, to see a, a protagonist character doing. I already forget their names. Hikuma, I no, think, we, is the... We read too much this week for me to remember any new character's name. <laughs> yeah, Ichi uh, the Witch Hikuma. is in the title, so that's the only reason I remembered Ichi. <laughs> Hikuma is the boy. I, I wrote this down. Uh, Noto, Noto is the is girl. The, yeah, Noto's the girl. And Morimoto is the teacher. Is the teacher, yes. So Hikuma is like kind of a, a loner nerd type, but he's he thinks he's happy. He thinks that everything's fine. But immediately, I this this won me over so hard like if i were to add a rule to soccer i'd love it the number of times players can touch the ball like i don't know like maybe the goals move in like dude's already showing like game mechanics i'm like yes yeah. fucking let's talk about game <laughs> mechanics and shit uh this is always what's on my mind so i love him going like okay yeah he's he's kind of getting bullied by people in the uh, the student council whatever has this little prick and he's like oh could you wait a second and then I'll do it because he's actually gaming everybody and showing off that he's has this has this proclivity for designing game like game things in his head, uh, and so he helps discover a purpose for that with this girl that never shows up to school. Noto shows up one day and is like, "Hey, are you interested in doing? You know, kind of like talks to him like, are you interested in doing any of this game shit? We kind of do it as a club. The school festival's coming up, and hey, maybe you're being bullied. Like, what? I'm not." No, I'm not. I'm having fun. It's like kind of sticks up for him, makes him. Wait a minute. My friends have been bullying me all along. <laughs> I just like gamifying everybody I meet. Is that weird? <laughs> they ask me to do stuff all the time for them and they never give anything in return. I and, thought I was and leveling I just up thought our they were giving me a challenge to, to overcome with games. And then they figure out that, okay, well, we have the festival coming up. We got the cool teacher. So we can get access to the media lab for three weeks and we're going to grind out and do a little game jam. And try to come up with a game, because that's what Noto wants to do. We're going to try and make a game, because she's tried to make games, and she sucks at it. But she sees the potential that Hikuma has. And this is so, like, I want to I wanna mention, I have a lot to say about like, the nitty-gritty parts of this, because it's very, it's very real. Go ahead. Um, getting into, like, what type of game are they going to make? And they're like, oh, well, we're going to, how do we market to, like, normies? How do we, how do we make people who are in the, all, like, the sports club? How do we make this club? instantly appealing to people we know? And you know how you do it? You make it applicable to them by having them in it and having other people related to it that they recognize. And then you make it a rage game. <laughs> and so they made an inside joke rage game over the course of three weeks is, is the idea. So they have a whole bunch of the grind session, which coming from having 
done so much fucking work over these past couple years <laughs> doing this shit. It's not glamorous. So I'm not surprised they showed literally none of the game dev <laughs> process. If you're reading this and you're like, wow, game development's cool. I want you to know that this is the most glamorized, sanitized for your consumption <laughs> look you could have of it. They show them being like tired and exhausted and shit, yeah, but like they like they went without sleep for like three weeks basically and made this crappy little thing. Um, and that's about all you need to know <laughs> to keep the story moving along. Yeah, you don't see we don't have twelve pages of debugging why the character suddenly <laughs> flickers randomly. But you get them like they talk about it. Like it's not like they don't say anything about that. Yeah. They're sitting in this moment too, where he's like, uh, the Ikuma mentions that he's he struggles with like social cues and stuff, like Bitch, like, this seems like a lot of, okay, like, I struggle with making friends, everybody feels like they got all the friend stuff figured out, and I don't know how to talk to people, and if only I could fix this bug, I'm like, oh, this okay. This bug in my this programming, in my <laughs> if I could only turn my zero to a one. But then this moment here I also found very relatable was, oh shit, we overslept, people are already, it's the day of the festival, we grinded on the game, they're testing it out, and now what? And then he's sitting there going like, well, I got to use the bathroom and then flashing in like, what if, what if I fixed, like, what if I don't have all these, like these bugs are fucked up? Like, I wish we could have added more enemies. Like we should have made it harder. Like, but like, all I'm thinking about is what's <laughs> wrong with it. I'm not thinking about what I'm happy with. I'm not thinking about what I liked doing about this. I'm only thinking about what I could fix about it. And then she was just like, you really just want to, isn't that all outweighed by wanting to see someone actually just play it? And then they, do the page reveal and you see everybody playing it everybody's gathered around having fun they're all laughing at the teacher because the teacher's got to take smoke breaks from trying to check up all the things which he was like hey keep this a secret don't tell yeah. anybody give it on the download that i take smoke breaks during the day <laughs> hey we're gonna make that our what entire that game we're like that's good that's real that's really cute so then a inside joke everybody's playing it they're all having a good time i like that you could actually see like little pixel art shit here too that was that was a fun yeah. touch yeah and then having his fucking exploding <laughs> brain blast of, oh my God, <laughs> this is such a oh, fun. I love that. Yeah, art. that was a great. Such a fun so double good. spread. This is very like a Zetsubo sensei to me. This is just really, really fun. Harkens to an older era. But yeah, I loved this line too. Today was special. Everyone has a birthday, but without ever realizing it himself, Dai Dai Hikuma was reborn as a game dev. So. Now you get that's, that's a lot of fun. That's the I wanted to I wanted to highlight that one a little more just because I, I I can relate really heavily to <laughs> it's this got, one. It's got some personal skin in it. I, I know. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I know what's going on with this one. And the second chapter, you see a lot more about 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 Noto. Noto. Noto and where she lives and lives at this liquor store, which used to be an arcade. She loves. She's just got tons of games. She really started getting into games and stuff like that. Was kind of her her main thing was like. While he gamifies everything in his mind, she just like became the student of games where she just and played and she bought thought, a ton. She saw E3 once and was yeah, like, she I want to be Yeah, she saw E3 and was like, I want to be Johnny E3. And you know what, Noto? <laughs> You're damn right. This is a motivation I can get behind. Being, a, being the president is too much fucking work. Being a guy in front of E3 and getting people excited to play your video game, that's literally what's driving me right this very moment. So I'm like, fuck <laughs> yeah. That's what I, I, I love seeing it. And so... This like, this slammed me in in the brain in the way I appreciated. And her going like, nah, I just wanna. I'm not very good at deving, so I tried to find somebody who can like make games. You're really good at gamifying shit and like breaking down concepts and stuff. Like you're good at game mechanics. You can figure this stuff out. So I'll be your producer. And hell no, I'm not giving up at being at E3. I get to be the guy on stage. You got to do all the hard work, which is very telling. You know, Todd Howard probably does fucking nothing for, but he's the face. But uh, but yeah, seeing seeing all them come together, like, hey, I want you to make games. We'll put them out into the world, and then uh, let's see what we can do. And it's only two chapters. That's all we got so far. But I think it is. That's a very real scenario, a very real setup yeah. with a, with a real like cast of characters so far. It's it's doing a lot of things that seem very genuine and heartfelt. I think this author has a sincere interest in this type of shit. So it's like, what was the one? The manga one that everybody likes. Bakuman. Bakuman. I did not read Bakuman, but I know that was like I, an awakening I moment for so Bakuman many people. in like a week. That was very fun. And this is pretty much exactly the same setup, the except Bakuman. without except without a misogynist rant in chapter two. I guess they're saving <laughs> that for chapter three for this one. Yeah. But otherwise, almost exactly the same kind of setup. 
which is very promising because Bakuman, of course, is amazing as a as just a journey. It doesn't give you all the details. A lot of the details they make are made up because they're going to the real Shonen Jump. Um, so they can't just you know give away all that away. Yeah. Yeah. So all that's secret. really important and all that you know is really important is just this journey for the characters and things like that. So I imagine it'll be a very similar thing for this. So it's a, yeah. it's a very promising setup. If this is just Bakuman with of, games. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it just reminds me a lot of like, <clears throat> I don't know if y'all are familiar with like comic party. Just Oh, yeah. A, yeah, he just discovers manga or comics like, oh man, that's really cool. I I can do that. I can... And then discovers like cons and everything and goes, okay, I want to sell it. And then that's where the series goes. Yeah. If this is just so, Bakuman so with a nice goal right here, which is going, hey, I want to, let's go to E3. Yeah. So this is, it, it's a lot of fun. It's very interesting. I think it, chapter one is kind of clunky to me. Very, which, yes. Which definitely indicates that they're new to this whole thing. But chapter one feels like a one shot. Yes. It kind of, yeah, kind of, yeah. Does. yeah. It probably started like, off it, as one shot and they didn't change it very much because they typically pitch one shots as like, here's what I'm capable of. Can you pick me up for a series? And then they and then they write their official chapter one. There's probably very little changed between the the prototype and chapter one then. Yeah. But yeah, it felt kind of clunky. I, I feel like they could have given more detail about this or that, like with the game dev stuff. I, f- I would have definitely liked to see more of their struggle getting through the, the game dev stuff because that's the, that's the conflict for this chapter and they really do skim over it. So uh, we kind of say they skimmed over it to make light of it, to make the pacing easier and breezier. But honestly, I feel like that's kind of where the biggest flaw in the in the chapter was. If we're, yeah, I don't so, know how much of that we're really going to get if it's just really going to be like, hey, we're doing a thing and then you get to see pixel art and then just know he's having anxiety of it. And then they throw little terms out every now and again. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of how Bakuman handles it. And it generally worked out fine because the, the character drama was very compelling. So they've, they've got to keep pushing the character drama a lot harder if they want to, if they want to make sure that it works well, if they're not going to be showing too much of the actual game dev process. Yeah. Like the, this is something I also adamantly feel about too. Like the game dev process is not glamorous. It is not entertaining. It is like, it is boring. It is a a humdrum rote thing that you are just constantly working on. You iterate, Mm -hmm. you do a thing. Can I make a square move? Okay, now I need to change what the, can I make the square jump? How do I make the jump feel better? How do I like do this? I need to make a, I need to make a thing. I got to code this thing. I got to, why is this crashing? But if it's whatever, like it's, there's a lot of just boring shit that isn't very (laughs) like glamorous to even try and make exciting. I have firsthand experience with this having streamed like years of doing this whole fucking thing and they never perform well. People don't like watching it because it's not like glamorous. It's not fun. But I I am trying to show that because I think people only get impressions from shit like this. And so if this does like do something, if a net good comes from the world of like, hey, I read this thing. I want to make games. Cool. Net positive to the world. I think that's fine. But I think people don't talk about the hard work that actually goes into this shit to, like, actually make something of that caliber. And I would like to see that more. That is my biggest critique of it is, like, don't sanitize it so much. Like, I think people would be interested in that. If people can, like, fucking go crazy about Jujutsu Kaisen bullshit bullshit powers, it'd be cool to teach them something actually practical. Like, fucking Dr. Stone got people into fucking chemistry, whatever the fuck. Teach them about yeah. fucking if statements and loops. Like, it's not, <laughs> you could do something with this if you wanted to and make it fun. Yeah. It, it is hard to make something educational and entertaining. I fucking know. But, like, you can, th- that is your, your, like you said, that's the conflict. This is your shown in battle thing that you have to do. I don't think you should glaze over it. I think you should probably talk yes. about it a little more. Absolutely. And, and, and granted, chapter one is hard to get the, the pacing for everything just right for this 50 pages of limited story you have. And chapter two was really finalizing the premise. Yeah. So we haven't gotten to see like what the real meat of this is. So we definitely have to see more of it to really tell if it's going to be doing that. Because in Bakuman, they definitely didn't glamorize the manga lifestyle. It is very difficult for them. It was The whole thing was colored by, this guy wants to become a mangaka because... His uncle died early as a mangaka and didn't it never got Aww. to rank number one. Mm-hmm. So it's just like this very dour, like this is this is a very harsh life he's just jumping right into. And it's it's very it's a very interesting contrast. 
And yeah. so far, they haven't shown much of that for this. Yeah, this is very lighthearted so far. Like, and even like the main character, usually you have the main character like in some conflict that they want to escape from, but he's like, no, I, I'm kind of happy. Like, if somebody didn't tell me I was bullied, I wouldn't have known I, that. I could have lived <laughs> in this prison and never noticed. Because, basically. because yeah. they're all, they think they're bullying me, but I'm gaming everybody. <laughs> like, was the, the, my takeaway with it. Not saying that, you know, you have to always have, God forbid we do different protagonist structures. I like what this is doing. But it, it is like, because I think it, it helps, like, crystallize the dynamic that, like, he needed no toe to pull him out of that, that he didn't even know he was in. Like, he didn't even know that was getting to him, like, without it. Yeah. So I, I appreciated that. All right. So I think we've generally gone through all three of them. Do we want to start uh, start <laughs> our little votes? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't think of a funny yeah. little... Hang on. I didn't think of, like, a funny little graphic for this. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to... Just get I'm a notepad up, out. Hang on. I'm pulling up a thing. There's, like, a, there's like a paint website that you can... Go, no, not that. They don't see this. Don't worry. I'm looking. Where's like the? It's like literally Microsoft Paint, but on a browser. I heard like manga or, or JS Magma Paint. Here Studio. it is. Got oh, it. Okay. All right. So oh, okay. here we go. I'm gonna see if this works. Can I take a screenshot and put it in here? Yes. All uh, right. Yeah. So, Shinobi undercover, and Ichi the witch. Yeah. There we go. And then we'll get Hakutaku. Bam. All right. All right. And then we have friends, my esteemed colleagues, exactly two readies to give. But I think mm -hmm. we should first, we, we can go down the line by each series, I think. So let's start with, I guess, the one on the top left, uh, un Shinobi Undercover. I don't know. That's not how I read. True. <laughs> you should go right. <laughs> top right. Yeah, is. you All read right. top right. <laughs> Ichi the Witch. Ichi the number one. All right. Uh, I'm going to give Ichi my reedy. Reedy, that's one okay. on the board. I'm gonna give that. Wait, a, a green, a green check mark. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Can I make this Perfect. The spray paint. There you go. Okay, <laughs> I'm excited for the world that it's built, and its art is very charming. I think I'm gonna give it a reedy too. Damn, two reedies. Two reedies. I'm not, I'm not particularly excited about it, but it's got the potential that I want to see where it goes. Hate to be the naysayer, but this is the one getting my knot. Damn! Wow, Bam. the knot, as in Grant's not going to use the unlimited amount of knots that he has at his disposal. I, I do want to say kind of up front, I liked all three of these. Like, I, me giving knot to Ichi is not me saying I thought it was bad. It was just okay. of these three, the one I felt the you had to continue. <laughs> yeah, you, ha you had to do it. I'm giving Ichi the witch a reedy! Hey! Yay. I think it's got a lot set up that could be really fun, and even though it isn't exactly what I thought in the beginning, I still, I want to see what it, it is doing. I think it has the potential to do really cool shit. And even just for that, I will stick out with almost anything just because it yep. could it's be got what potential I want it to. to. It. <laughs> yeah. It could be cool. <laughs> okay. And that's the, the, the whole potential argument is kind of, uh, you know, the, the forefront of my mind for whether or not I want to give these ready. And yeah. like I mentioned, I do not think <gasps> Shinobi Undercover has much potential. So I'm going to give that one a knot. Shinobi Bam! Legs. Shinobi should have stayed in the shadows. Well, you know what? <laughs> Even though I don't think, I, I do think it's probably going to end in less than 50 chapters, but I also, I'm going to say the same for Ichi the Witch. I honestly don't think any of these have like over a hundred chapter standing. But, Ichi I could see going for a bit, but maybe not. But... With that said, I am here for the cozy mo the 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 cozy characters that Shinobi Undercover has, and the just the moments that it has in the chapter. So I'm gonna give it a reading. Damn! Hell yeah! I was worried that I was gonna be the only one. I I like I said, I think <laughs> I really have a lot of fun with the the premise of don't let our friend see that we're keeping her alive. <laughs> Bit. I'm a big fan of that, and yeah, I also like the cozy character moments, so it gets a reedy from me as well. Bam! Another right. reedy for Shinobi Undercover. And then, I had to do it to him. I'm sorry. I guess <laughs> Shinobi Undercover, it was... I want it, well, even though it is a... I'm, I'm sitting here crying at the, at the, you know... What the fuck am I trying to say? Old Yeller. I'm putting this thing down. <laughs> you're, you're, you're pointing the, the gun at your beloved pet. Taking you out back, but I want you to know that I had a fun character moment. She made me laugh a couple times, but I don't think you have 
any potential longer than like 10 chapters, I think I will be done with you by then, unless you do something crazy, in which case, let me know. But until then, <laughs> yep. All right. Haku Taku, I was pretty big on this. I think I can go ahead and get the obvious out of the way. This is a reading for me. <laughs> I love seeing a story about game dev shit. This is one I I would have never expected, but I guess it's I guess it's about time. So that's cool. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm curious to see what they portray with it. I think I'm just I'm just so in this goop that I'm very curious to see what they do with it. And it, if nothing else, I think I will always have a lot to say about what they do. So like, I, I, I'm very curious about that. Yeah. Very similar reasons. Like I've done a bit of game dev stuff, but anything like that's focused on a creative outlet is going to be very fascinating to me to see the struggles of that. And plus it just reminds me a lot of Bakuman, which I sincerely really enjoyed reading. And so I hope I get very similar vibes from this. So I want to continue reading it. Bam! To your readies. Already tied with Shinobi Undercover, but will it survive? I'm a bit of a gamer, and it's hard to say no to a comic book about gamers. Uh, I, to be honest, I like neither of the main characters do I really find that compelling, but I love this idea so much that I really want to see where it goes, and that's kind of where a lot of my reedy comes from on this one. But I will give it a reedy. The potential. Do you have a reedy to give? Wait, yeah, did you did you give you Rudy some reading to give? He killed he Take killed he killed Ichi. No, no, yeah, I said no to Ichi. Oh, okay. Ichi oh, was my, okay. Ichi that, was sorry, my one not. Nah. Remember yeah. I, right. I tipped that okay. hat okay. early. I got yeah. I got confused. I thought that was Tyler's. No. No, we've we've kind of the order's all fucked. We're just we're just <laughs> yeah, I was, right about I was originally going to say we each get a different color check, but that seemed like too much. That's work. too much work. <laughs> well, I'm going to give it a not. You had you had to. I had yeah. to, I had to break this this tie uh, or break this. You had to make a tie straight. between yeah. Ichi. And yeah, Dark couldn't Dark make Dark. it perfect, but that does solve our problem of like, are we only taking the number one or number two? It looks like we're tied for yeah, first. There's so. I was yep. wondering if one was gonna run away with them or if like we would, all of us would like it and all hate one of them. I wasn't I wasn't sure how this would shake out, but lo and behold, there's one clear definitive murder today <laughs> and sorry shinobi undercover sorry shinobi undercover you were the one i had the most fun reading but i'm afraid you have to go hey you can do the <laughs> shinobi undercover weekly no, play yeah, i'll be your i'll be your you know eyes on yeah the, if you uh, say it's like, genuinely interesting and like breaks away from this mold that we've assumed of it then yeah. we can definitely look back <laughs> into it when i keep up. checking in and going like guys she still doesn't know, and yeah. it's so funny. <laughs> I can't wait for Grant to come in and go, guys, the thing I liked about it isn't there anymore. You guys should check it out. <laughs> yeah. Guys, it's really bad. They told her, and she's got super ninja powers now, too. I'll be like, it ooh, sucked. okay. Bam. Anyways, congratulations on our two winners here. So we have Ichi the Witch and Hakutaku for the question mark future i guess until they all get a yeah, knot and die well i guess we did that to jujitsu as well and kept reading it i don't think we have a yeah there's like it's not gonna no get metric. you kicked off the show if you get all knots but i am i do think that it's gonna be a thing where like if they get like two or three all knots in a row then we're gonna be like do we really care about this anymore two knots uh, and you're out yeah oh can i share something real quick it's kind of apropos of nothing but if we want to see what the what the Japanese readers think. Oh yeah! Of, oh curious. yes. What do the uh, Japanese like the readers rankings, say yeah. of the the stories? We can go to uh, jajankin.net slash en, and I believe that will show us the weekly reader scores, and and we can see how those are doing. I'm curious. Here, I can just copy and paste the link if you. Yeah. Okay. Oh wow! All right. So what what do we got going on? Can so you explain this, this to me? For like I'm the fine? current. Yeah, we're currently on the current week of Shonen Jump, issue 44 of 2024. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see the rankings. Uh, where they are on average is how they're listed from top to bottom. And where they are for the current week is in the column furthest to the right. And then going back each week, columns to the left. So we can kind of see how One Piece is generally always at the top because it always gets the best scores. And then we can see, like, uh, in this most recent week, how... The top scoring, as far as popularity goes, is Blue Box. Okay, yeah. So that was the, the most popular one? Of this week, yes. Got it. Wow, and Ichi the Witch tanked. It was yeah, 1, so, 4, 8, 12. <laughs> that's, how a lot of, that's how a lot of these manga start, though. Oh, it's number one. one, one the, four, basically eight. always. That's a, just a, a rule because it's always put at the front. 
It's always promoted. They always get the cover of the magazine. They always get a color color pages. Like first issue or whatever is always gonna yeah. Be it's like almost a, guaranteed. Whoa, everyone's and then they the always just kind of like drop and settle a little bit until it get, they gain the momentum of their own story. So that's kind of to be expected. Except but... for Shinobi Undercover. Oh wait, never mind. Never mind. I thought it looked like it bounced back, but I'm no, it died. No, Hakutaku yeah. had a huge yeah. plummet though. Damn. Yeah, that's that's a bit concerning that part. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's bad. Oh, Hakutaku might not make it out of the game. So it's jam. gonna try really hard to to impress if it wants to. If it wants I mean, to I get a not season two on a DLC plummeting. pass. So. Yeah. So what are the what are the things that the kids are reading? I know everybody's yelling about Sakamoto Days, but I don't. What's that big dip on the graph? Like when when we see the line graph, just that big. Oh, Sakamoto days. Okay. Sakamoto days. Yeah, dropped from its average wow. of like second place to ten. Nope. Did it move to like a new? But, then it, or but then it jumped back up. Yeah. Yes. Probably a thing ended. I am astounded that Jujutsu Kaisen is anywhere up here. But this makes sense. Yeah. The, well, this it's also one? the end. So like people will even. If yeah. They don't like the funny it, thing is, you know, the you know the chapter that we all railed against, the, the one that we all hated. That high got point. second place of that week. Of That's, course. Why? <laughs> this is the other thing too. There's Gym an... boys love learning about their powers. Uh, their of powers. course. So. Yeah, absolutely. And the like I think there's also a bigger conversation about how many globally like significant manga events happen by like a thousand people that run into Shonen Jump in Japan. <laughs> like it's insane how much they dictate by like these poll results yeah. or whatever. There's the definitely fuck. Is not other, a lot other factors, but it's amazing how much leeway these 1,000 polls that are in the magazine, the readers write on them and mail them in, how much influence they typically have. God. It's not the only thing, because like if, if I'm noticing here, Undead and Luck has been at the uh, near the bottom for a very long time and hasn't been canceled And still yet. going, yeah. So it's got other factors going for it, aside from popularity, it seems. But that's just, it's interesting to me that we can, we can actually see this and we can actually see how the manga that we're following is perceived by the Japanese audience. This is what I want to see. Can we get Kagurabachi like way up there, please? Yeah, push She's, it up. So I mean, we're going to do is we're going to go fourth on average is, is pretty solid though. Yeah. What were you saying, Tony? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Kino Kuni and buy the monthly Tankuban and then get the little note slip out of it and get our, and cast our vote <laughs> Ooh, good yes. time zone. Yeah, Start they having our it. voice be heard. Are they going to accept well, so it? The tank, they, they don't have those in the Tankubans. It's just in the weekly. No, it's in the, now. yeah, they sell the weeklies at Kino Kuni. Oh, okay. Like the, okay, what these silly gaijin think of our, our books. I'm going to need all of you to write in and vote for Kagurabachi and show them that's better than any other bullshit in that magazine. Thank you. Yep. It's true. <laughs> I don't know. You haven't read Sakamoto Days. How can you say it tonight? Fair enough. Sakamoto Days is still a blind Because I don't like him. I don't like his stupid glasses. I don't like his stupid face. I think, I don't know. I, I think Sakamoto Days oh, is no. really good. I He's think that's be probably the new something Gojo that we should try to yeah, I'm going to want to <laughs> fuck him. You're going to want to fuck that fat <laughs> ass. <laughs> <laughs> like a mask over his eyes. Does that change how you feel? <laughs> oh, yes. If he has a blindfold, very, very different. Have you seen him when he gets skinny, though? No, I haven't. Is that his Turns superpower? Into a bit of a he, get he, he, he gets skinny because he burns off his, all his calories while fighting. But then really? does he immediately get fat again? And then he gets fat again because he eats a lot because his wife is a good cook. Okay, that's fine. Okay. That's, that's actually okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> like, it's just one I keep hearing about, but I have no interest no, it's, in. It's, genuine, it's, it's, it's genuinely very fun. I, I do think we should try to get like to it. It sounds like Shinobi Undercover. I don't see how this is cool at all. Yeah. Great. <laughs> I'd say it's closer to Kagurabachi. It's got very good action scenes. What the and fuck? It, okay, well, hold on. Now you're now you're talking. <laughs> like its action scenes are definitely a strong point. It's oh, got yeah. it's got a through line narrative. Does he um, have an enchanted and... beeper at a, at a Kroger? <laughs> Does he can he scan no, the barcode? No, he has an enchanted gun. <laughs> he scans the wrinkles of your brain and then he learns uh, all every tragic secret you have. The barcode of mankind. That's what I would do. It's just a, it's just very fun. I lo I really j enjoy the characters in it. They're very funny and and endearing. Damn. I've I've not read it, but I've clicked on it a few times and to flip through it, and it's it's got some moments that'll just hold you. And the action's real cool. There's one part with some guy who's got magnetic gauntlets, and I thought the power, the way that they were demonstrating that power, was really cool. Does he beat him with a wooden gun? He like throws a <laughs> car through. I, I mean, I don't know how he beats him. But he throws a car through a wall. Same frame twice. This guy's like, only at wall level? I'm looking for something continental <laughs> minimum. Yeah, I don't know if you know, but we, we only talk about no, we, town he's got the hacks, though. Channel. He's got. He's oh, got he has a hack? Hacks. All right, well, let's change this everything. No, I don't know. If you guys haven't, I, check I out our fucking power, our, our power scale videos, although I imagine you have. But those were yeah, funny. They've been doing pretty well. They've been yeah. real fun.
We should do another one of those. We should just do shit with the. Now that we're reading more shit, we can do some stupid shit. No, yeah. Power yep. scale all the manga we're currently re reading. <laughs> See who wins. I mean, I think Ichi would beat all of the main characters from the new things we read this week. Would you? You think Ichi would beat any of the characters in Hakutaku? Yeah, I think they could just them. code Ichi to. <laughs> To, to die. Yeah, wait, is that is that Hakutaku's hack? That yeah, hack, that's what it means. Hack, <laughs> I'm a hacking otaku. I'm going to murder Hakutaku. you. Damn. All right. Hack the genome. Okay, well, well there we, we already go. Solved Bam! That. We know what's going on, so look forward to uh, this is the new Reedy or Not lineup for a minute. as always. Bam. The king get, Yeah, get, the, yeah, get those knots fucking, away from, from get, my precious Kagura. Hang on. There we go. Let's get, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Wanna it's be big because it's a longer story. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. These are the series we're reading. Be um, ready for it. Get ready for it. We'll be doing these weekly. And then, as always, we'll be interspersing other bigger topics and stuff. Uh, like the Jujutsu thing was its own little doohickey. We'll probably do another, like, grand... Maybe we'll probably do, like, a bigger, uh, just overall Jujutsu Kaisen as a series recap type video, maybe. Yep. Because there's there's maybe a lot talking some of our favorite parts or something. There's a lot whatever. to talk about there for sure. And maybe we'll pick up another like long running one. Like wait, people have been wanting more Don to Don. We can do more of that. But uh it'll probably be more like what we did today with the not going over page by page. It'll be here's this chunk and we're just gonna talk about how this chunk was. Yes. So we can actually talk about it in a meaningful amount of time. I like it. Well, thanks for joining us. Be ready for next time where we're catching up on all of our favorite mangas. I'm going to say next week, don't expect us to do Don to Don, so you don't need to catch up with that. We just want to need a little more time to catch up, so let's just do the weekly thing next week. How about it? Kagurabachi, Ichi the Witch, Hakutaku. See you. Or Bye. Not. Bye. Bye. Good times. So.